Find the principal meridian using rotation technique. If you can see, there is a scissor movement. Stop until the line is parallel. Then mark here and here. So now we can neutralize with a trial lens so we neutralize the vertical line using plus 2 And horizontal line using plus 350. Plus 2 here. Plus 350. So the actual power of the lens is minus 2 and minus 350. Take the actual power, transpose the result to minus ferrocell form, most plus is plus minus 200, cylinder is different between 2 meridian, minus 150. So the answer is minus two cylinder one fifty. This is a plus ferro cylinder lens. First, we do a rotation test to find the meridian and mark the meridian. Then we neutralize using trial lens. You can see horizontal line not move, so we neutralize horizontal line with minus one and Vertical line we neutralize with minus two fifty. Record the power here minus one and minus two fifty. So the power is plus one and plus 250 so we take the actual power and transpose to minus ferro seal in the form most plus so plus 250 cylinder 
150. So, plus 250 minus 150. Find the principal meridian of the lens using rotation technique until no scissor movement will be seen. Right here. Mark the meridian. So, we move the lens vertical to neutralize horizontal line and we can see here horizontal movement the lines is not move this lens is a plano sphero cylinder lens so we only neutralize one meridian only because another meridian is plano so we put lens tray lens we can see there is no movement so plus two we neutralize the horizontal line okay vertical line no movement when we rotate here we can see horizontal line no movement but vertical line got movement put try lens we neutralize Okay. Record the result of the each lens in a table and transpose the result to minus spherocylinder form. Thank you.